Hey guys, we're going to take a look at the uh, sprint run of the Spyderco Lum. I'm sure you know it's got the ZDP blade steel uh, designed by Bob Lum. And it's just an awesome design. Um, I really like the way it looks open. Also, really like the way it looks closed. Uh, especially how much blade length that they pack into the handle. You see how the tip goes to the very end of the handle, so it really uses up that whole handle to put cutting edge in there. And it's real friendly in the pocket with these smooth Almite handles. Well, the coating, I guess the handles are aluminum. And fit and finish is just what you'd expect out of Spyderco. Uh, my blade is dead centered in there. And I've had maybe four or five of these now, and still have a couple, but they're all, all my blades are centered. The first batch that come out, I guess, uh, Spyderco, or what I heard, that they released uh, 300 in the first run, and then the other 300 are coming out now, and that's why you've seen a couple of knife works in Newgram. But they had some problems with uh, this coating uh, being a little rough on the back. Uh, the second batch seems to be a lot better. And not that the first batch was bad in any kind of way. But it just wasn't... Um, it just wasn't what you would think from Spyderco. It is a thinner design than a lot of knives. Which makes it real nice in the pocket. And this is just a real unique design, especially for a spider go because most spider goes have the little ramp that comes up here that this particular model does not. And you can tell it's more of a gentleman's knife because there's no jimping or anything. And no guard, which is really nice for an EDC type knife, uh, in my opinion, because if you're, um, whatever you're cutting, you can really get close to that cutting edge and really have a lot of control and the way the the rest of the blade kind of falls into your palm just really gives you a lot of control over whatever you're trying to cut and the handles are not as slippery as you would think they they look um, and also another thing I really like about using this knife is the negative uh, blade angle you see how this handle kind of slopes down, which when you hold it, it kind of aims the blade down. And this uh, modified Warncliffe blade, which is uh, almost a straight line, but it has just a tiny little bit of belly, is perfect for like uh, cutting vegetables and strawberries and, you know, whatever you come up for your food task, peeling apples and all that. But you can really get down on your cutting board with that nose of the knife. Um, but also have the utility of like a Warncliff where they have a lot of control over the point. If a blade has uh, too much belly, like say this this was ground like that, it seems um, like you're, you're not really getting a whole lot of surface, I guess you could say, to the cutting board. So uh, I just really find it nice for cutting up onions and whatnot, because the way, just the way that the design is, you can, I don't know if I'm making any sense, it's hard to describe it, how it comes down flat on the cutting board and your hand has enough room to get up off of the cutting board and away. Anyways, let's um get a measurement on it. I'm going to start there. Overall length is near uh, seven and a quarter. Not exactly, but very, very close. And actual cutting edge is about an eighth less than uh, three inches. So about two and seven eighths. 
It's uh, I'm sure you can see just a big, tall, flat ground blade. It has a nice little swedge that comes down here. And I don't really think that serves any purpose other than just looking uh, really cool. But a lot of people are going to let these die in a box. It's just a shame because they really are nice knives to carry and use. Just the clip is even, I don't know, I really would not change anything on this knife. Which is really rare that you can find a knife where you're just totally happy with it. The liner lock, uh, some may be concerned that it's a little thin, and I would admit it's a little thin, but uh, considering the class of knife that this is, uh, pretty much in the gentleman's folder, I don't really know why that would be a con you know, why it would be a concern. It's not like you're going to be uh, slashing up zombies or prying your way through a door or using it as a leg up or whatever you need a strong lock for you know so it's just it's just a perfect gentleman's folder in my opinion that's actually usable it's just uh, so smooth the action again the finish and the fit it's just great. They do have bronze uh, phosphorus washers in there. It's kind of hard to see. And I probably should have cleaned it up for the review, but I've been carrying it the past about two weeks straight. You can go tip up if you like. It, tip, it comes tip up. You can carry it tip down. But pretty much only set up for right handers. Anyways, that's the review. Uh, we're going to try to do a couple of these a week if possible. I'm pretty busy. So, thank you for watching. We'll see you later.